right, so this is just going to be a quick video on changing the battery inside of a Schumacher Pro Series jump starter. So this thing is just a, a portable uh, jump starter for a car, and inside of it, it has a small battery, and this one is bad. If I check it, you can see the battery is dead. Uh, I've tried to charge this thing back up, and, and it's gone. So we're going to replace the battery inside. So on the back of this thing, we've got six screws and some of them on top are actually a little different. So you can use a bigger screwdriver down here, but up here the holes are very small and you've got some shorter screws up here. So um, you will need a couple of little screwdrivers to do this. Got some larger screws down here at the bottom. So once you get all the screws loose, you can slowly try to pry this thing up. And these cables have to fit down through that. They're just gonna slip. As you can see, they're just gonna slip through where we can pull this back off. So here you see the inside. We've got the battery that I've got to replace. Let's see, it's Schumacher. This is a LPX 1220s. So that's a 12 volt, 20 amp hour. This is 22 amp hour rated here. Um, so this is just a, a sealed lead acid battery. So you got a little outlet up here and then some of the, the little control circuitry for the, the testing and the light status and stuff like that. And then down here on the side, this is the charging input. And that goes up to the uh, wall outlet 120 volt, comes in here, voltage conversion, uh, and the charging circuit management for this battery. Again, this battery's failed. Um, I'll go ahead and, and show you it's reading like this. All right, so it looks like currently we got about 10 volts. Um, this thing is not a real hazard at the moment, only putting out 10 volts. Uh, I can't get it to hold the charge, and so I've got a replacement battery that I'm gonna put in. So I'm gonna start off just by removing these lugs. Got some tape here. Let me just pull this battery out. All right, so now we can just drop this new battery in. Of course, make sure we don't jack up any of our cables here. This one is battery in here. Okay, so this is a battery that I got off Amazon, a Mighty Max. Um, it's the same kind of rating, 22 amp hour, uh, 12 volts. Again, you'll see these 22 or 20 amp hour rated, uh, depending on some factors, but basically a plug and play drop in replacement for this thing. All right, get a little tape just to keep these wires on the side. That way they don't get pinched whenever we close this thing back up. Now we can just put in the Screws back in the top. Okay, so the screws are good and tight. Let's go ahead and check the voltage before we button it back up. There we go, reading 12.9 volts. So this battery is gonna be pretty good. So we're gonna slide these cables back through the front cover. So 
I'm gonna drop in some screws. Got it back together, do the battery test. So it does need to be charged, but it looks like we got uh, a little bit of improvement there. So we'll charge this thing up and uh, give it a test. Uh, but that'll be, it. again, really easy to replace. Uh, you just got to find these batteries on Amazon. Um, they're not that expensive. You know, this this jump starter, gosh, it costs well over a hundred bucks. Um, battery replacement costs about 55 or 60. So. It can be worth it. Um, you know, they make a lot of smaller ones these days, but uh, I had this one. I wanted to make sure that I, I gave it as long a life as possible. So I uh, got it done. If you got any questions, just feel free to leave a comment. Thanks.